Hello everyone, of course, this is me, John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan. I'm going to do another edition of the Ghost Hunters Report. Now, I guess this is going to be kind of a special comments kind of thing. I'm going to talk about this whole Rachel Dolezal situation that's kind of exploded recently. Now, let me get this straight. A woman who was born white, grew up white, had all the privileges that goes in the society of being white, one day decides that she's black and that all the historical oppression that goes into the mindset of being a black American is suddenly like magically absorbed inside of her. And she understands everything. She's suddenly lived it, experienced it, knows everything about what it's like to be a black American. And then goes on to get a lot of personal gain from it. You know, it really does sound like some weird, crazy madness from the bottom barrel of the insanity that is Tumblr. It's as if Tumblr kind of jumped off the internet, entered the real world, and that became Rachel Dolezal. You know. And what she doesn't get is it doesn't work like this. Unless you've lived it and experienced it, and have it as part of your mindset and your psychology and your understanding, your perspective of the world. You can't just one day magically become black. You can't just one day magically understand everything. And it just shows the level of privilege that she actually has. She has the privilege to adopt a black identity and she has the privilege to benefit from it you know last time I checked you know as far as my understanding goes and yeah I'm not black by the way is that being born black in America and growing up black in America puts you at a disadvantage unfortunately and you're not, you're not really in a position to get personal gain so much through the color of your skin. Rachel Dolezal used the color of her skin to adopt a completely different uh, physical appearance to gain from it. If I had some hardcore privilege, man, I really don't know what is. And I also have to say, to put it bluntly, she's a stupid fucking arrogant asshole. I've seen an interview she's been given recently. She defends it, which shocked me. I thought, you know, she would at least say, you know, well, maybe this was misguided. But no, no. All about defending it. You know. I mean, this shit is weirder than the other kin garbage that I see going on, on Tumblr. You know? It's true life is weirder than fiction in this case, and it's so true. You know? God damn man. This isn't how you help the black community, I'm pretty sure. This isn't how you fight for liberation or equality for black America. I'm I'm fairly confident this isn't this isn't how you do it. You don't sit there and adapt you know, a physical identity and then go about getting on chapters of the NAACP, getting jobs at universities, all because of your using this identity, which is fake and not real. Yeah. Gaining from it. And actual black people don't have this advantage, this privilege to sit there and gain from the color of their skin. But she can. And she did. 
Rachel Dole's out here, a sick motherfucker, and needs help. I hope you get your comeuppance. And for all those the first time have seen me, hey, go ahead and subscribe. You know, get lots of stuff like this, plus a slew of other things. And I want to hear what you think about this isn't it? I'm interested what you subscribers think. Until next time, this is me, John Doe in Tokyo. Checking out.